Quickly first to recap, a Toronto based company called Hydro One wants to buy Avista, but 47% of that company is owned by the government of the province of Ontario. Now, Washington state regulators rejected the merger because they felt it would make Avista too vulnerable to political wins in Canada. As evidence, they pointed out that when a new party took control of Ontario this past July, they forced out the entire board of Hydro One. Okay, so now on to the appeal petition. The argument is made up of three parts. One, that the regulators, the Utilities and Transportation Commission, or UTC, overestimated the ability of Ontario politics to affect a VISTA. Two, that the UTC underestimated the benefits the merger could provide customers. Three, that the commission overstepped its bounds. In regards to that first point, the petition says, quote, the commission failed to identify with any specificity how provincial actions could actually impact a VISTA. Basically, they argue regulators' points were too broad, that while on the surface it might make sense to fear political interference, the commission was unable to put their finger on a real way Ontario could affect a VISTA. They argue there will be legal safeguards to prevent exactly that, and that the UTC didn't give those safeguards enough weight. Next point, the UTC underestimated the benefits the merger would provide. The petition cites low-income programs, rate credits, and recurring charitable donations. They say altogether the merger would provide $42.4 million in customer benefits over a 10-year period. For the record, Avista says it has more than 600,000 customers, so $42.4 million over 10 years translates to about $7 a year per customer in benefits. Avista also argues for non-monetary benefits, though basically that being owned by a bigger company will provide financial stability and more power in the marketplace. Finally, the petition accuses the UTC of overstepping their bounds. It argues that in the rejection order, the UTC accused Hydro One of making poor choices following the Ontario election, but that the UTC doesn't have jurisdiction to make such judgments about a Canadian company. Now, how does this affect consumers? Well, first of all, many people in the Inland Northwest have opposed this merger from the get because they too fear too much control from foreign governments. If the UTC changes their decision, it could upset a lot of ratepayers. On the other hand, it could also bring those rate credits that Avista argues are meaningful. So now the commission will consider the petition and decide whether to hear new evidence, reject the petition, or overturn their previous decision. As for what's likely to happen, well, it's hard to predict. A UTC spokeswoman told me there haven't been proceedings similar to this one before, but we'll know the decision at the latest by January 7th.